Hopefully it didn't record this part. So I'm gonna gonna see if we are live. Uh, yeah, we are live. Hi everyone. <laughs> so uh, welcome to another stream. This is really close to Christmas, but this is not gonna be a Christmas stream. I kinda finalize all my drawings and everything that I had uh, and I've decided that from now on on the streams I'm going to work on my longer projects so I don't necessarily want to film and make videos of uh, like speed paints like this because they're not fun I, I enjoy maybe making them live and I enjoy taking my time and then editing like 12 hours or, or so footage sometimes uh, takes a long time and I would like to focus on my shorter videos on just um, flower drawings, doodling and other cool tips and tricks or either watercolor or any other uh, things um, oh hi, hi Marlena, hi Johan and on live streams because we have a little bit more time we might have an hour for example like today we might have an hour um, another time we might have two hours I want to do my longer projects like my nice speed paints my nice paintings so I'm going to start with this lady here she's a princess right <laughs> and um, I'm going to start with her and I do not know if I'm probably I'm not gonna finish because usually a painting like this takes a long time I'm gonna start with the flowers and with the wreath and I was thinking actually doing some more stuff on the wreath because it, it looks a little bit too simple uh, and then maybe the hair and the face I'll do on the next stream um, so this is like how I want it to go so I hope everybody's okay for everybody's information, I am having a new computer and I'm testing live streaming from the new computer. Uh, and I'm kind of trying to keep the same settings as the previous computer. Uh, it should be better, but let's see how it goes, right? Okay, so let me start with this. This girl, I, I drew, I made a sketch while watching a movie. Uh, and I had this idea in my mind that she was a princess, she had lots of hair, and she had her hair pinned all around and she had like lots of... Uh, initially she had a bun, I'm not very good at buns, uh, and then she had lots of um, flowers in her hair and she was like a princess in a faraway room. Um, and it was more of a happy one, like the previous princess I drew, she had like purple hair and the... Uh, uh, scenery was super dark and moody and um, like green and this time I wanted to make this princess to be light and happy and in a nice place so uh, that's why she has all these flowers in her hair and uh, you know but I'm keeping the team with the butterflies um, after I did the sketch funny thing about the sketch uh, I didn't want to use a light box because the sketch was much smaller than what I had in mind for this piece so I kind of hand drew this piece myself without the light box um, and what ended up being is I started way onto this side and then I didn't have enough space here it kind of unnaturally ends so I was left with lots of uh, space around and not enough space here so what I will do that's why I didn't tape it here because well I, I need this part to color um, is I will cut off pieces of it at the end um, this down part and a piece from this side to make it more even and to make it look cohesive and then I will frame it or I will just offer it as a as a print and then I can do the the bleed on the side so no harm done, I just like when you use a light box you have way more control so um, that being said let's get started uh, enough chit, -ch -chit chat for now uh, what brush do I use? I use uh, the Escoda Versatile brush number 4 and I'm gonna try to do the flowers and the color palette I, I think I wanna do the flowers like really 
pinks and purples and reds like a really nice cheer cheery cheerful uh, ideas so I'm going to try of course I'm not gonna I'm going to uh, mix my colors here I'm not gonna make uh, really bright pinks I mean I have an opera pink here and I know that I should not be using this opera pink on its own. You can see already how bright this is. Okay, it's not that bright. It's not that cheerful where she is, okay? It's a middle, middle place. So she's a princess. But um, I'm gonna mix some color. And I keep adding the purple here. And then I'm going to want to bring it a bit down toward so I'm gonna use some brown let's see how that goes okay now this is too much down I think I put too much and I'm going to mix it yeah sometimes I forget to mix the colors in advance <laughs> so going to do a lighter version of this one and that will be the darker version okay that's for the first colors uh, which one should we start with so if we're gonna have three colors uh, let's start with this smaller one here uh, the nice part about the Escoda brushes and I think I'm gonna wanna do gonna want to wet the area first and then just drop in some color let's see so they have a really pointy tip I do have a different brush uh, number one so if I'm gonna need it then I'm going to add the number one um, okay the hair I want it to be like um, fair hair like blonde hair with streaks of um brown like m mine mine is way darker and browner but you know this is kind of what i had in mind uh let's see if actually i enjoy more so sometimes i don't know if i should do wet in wet or just wet and dry mm, i think i'll just do wet and dry it's easier I'm gonna try to preserve the white as much as possible, but on those ones I'll just add them at the end. I'll add it with white gel pen at the end. So, hope you can see what I do. So my idea for the setup on the live streams also is going to be to I'm waiting I'm waiting for a live stream camera and I want to film from the side as well because I think when you film from the side that's when most of the um, the interesting parts are so currently I don't have like I have another phone like my Samsung but to be honest I couldn't connect it so um, just going to wait for my live stream camera and then you know I can use my phone I like I don't suggest anybody to you know buy cameras and buy gear like I would say you use what you have until it works and for me having having a phone and talking to you works uh, so it actually works pretty well so don't don't stress yourself if you don't have all the gear in the world or anything because definitely you can do live streaming like if you have two phones I usually steal my husband's phone he doesn't like that when I steal his phone to make videos he has a nicer Samsung than me so I always like to steal his phone and mount it up so majority of my videos are also filmed with just a phone so maybe I should do a, a video about my 
how to do live streaming and videos on the cheap. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, this actually looks pretty nice. I'm going to dip on the color. So this is just the first layer. That's why I'm saying like it's probably going to take me a while. Although this painting doesn't look like much. Trust me. Um, it can take quite some time. Oh, I have a darker magenta here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do which one should I do? Maybe I'll do this one here. I want my mom to see me in like the full, uh, full glory. <laughs> so that's why I need, I need a better setup. Doesn't mean you need to go super expensive. Okay, so the story with this princess. Her name is Amalia. I already came up. I always come up. Oh, hello, Florian. Welcome. I always come with uh, with funny names, but Amalia is her name. She is of the House of the Silver Forest. Um, and in the Silver Forest, they have lots of flowers and uh, lots of streams and really pretty scenery. And they take care of a lot of animals. Um, so she's the princess of that place. She has a, an affinity for flowers and for growing flowers. So she likes to grow flowers because she also likes to uh, make potions. And the potions she makes are usually just to uh, to help the animals or the forest and you know when they need help or when they get sick that's why she makes potions uh, and those are her usual traits she's very kind hearted and she likes to help anybody in need Her dad is a famous bear. Well, he can transform into a bear and fight. So her father is a druid. Uh, and he's been in many wars. He's been protecting the borders of the forest. And the forest is... Um, depending on who enters the forest. If your heart is pure, then the true beauty of the forest will show. And everything that is nice and beautiful in the world will appear. If however your heart is not pure and you enter the forest, uh, well, let's just say that you won't exit it the same way. It's going to be pretty gloomy forest and pretty dangerous and everybody's gonna hide from you, the fairies and everything else. Uh, I'm going to reuse the color for this one down here. So, what is her zodiac sign? That's the question. That will be an interesting question. What will be her zodiac sign? She likes nature and animals and taking care of them. I, I would suspect she her zodiac sign is, is fishes. Uh, they're much more attuned to the nature, the fishes. Fishes. I, how do I pronounce this? Well, I'm really bad at English. Fish. I know fish, but pieces? Pieces. That, that sounds like... <laughs> pieces. <laughs> um, so she's born in March. Hmm. 
uh, and her secondary element is water but her affinity is with the creatures of the forest and she very much enjoys playing with them and taking care of them and these are her favorite flowers they're called anemones and anemones can be very many different colors that I think the nicest ones are the ones that are like the purples and the reds I'm going to do this one again with this purple here and this is permanent magenta by the way I'm gonna add way more water yeah okay so we are in the middle of the forest and how is this world cold I do not know I would need to think about that really hard uh, it's not our world definitely our world doesn't have magic unfortunately but it does have a different type of magic our world which is not to be underestimated so let's not forget about the magic of our world and the beauty that we have but this world has a special type of magic and uh, their affinity is more with the forest you might you might think so if the entire world is attuned to the forest do they have any you know enemies or anything that you have to fight for well a lot of times you have to take care of the forest and because all the worlds are linked together with our world maybe and you know different other worlds they're all connected so when one of them has trouble the other ones might experience something similar because the negative emotions from one world might travel to the other world so although there are not many that could harm the world where this princess is from the fact that in our world there are so many things happening definitely has its toll so she needs a lot more care to the frows and, and to the everything in the forest uh, she's also learning how to be a druid just like her dad which is nice And her mom always wants her to learn <laughs> how to be a proper lady and a proper princess but I think she prefers to have fun and to grow her plants I don't think she likes to be a princess that much right she's quite content her hair is a mess just like mine okay let's put it this way so <laughs> We're not gonna, we're not gonna get any arguments there. Okay, I'm going to use this one. This one's called the Rose Dore. Uh, let's see. What if we add some of this? Yeah, we make it even nicer. So I added, I what added some buff titanium. To the rose doré and it's really nice peachy color so let's see how this peachy, peachy color works here the only downside of adding buff titanium is that every color becomes a little bit more opaque because buff titanium is opaque so that's the only difficulty you can see that I'm trying really hard to only add color to the where the petals meet and then we're gonna just um, do and come with the with water to spread around the color because I want it pretty light on on the front and that's it
I always like to, it's so funny that when I was young, I always imagined all these stories with princesses and princes and of course I was a lot of time in a different world, doing different things and I always imagined how it will be but then I then I found out that the Japanese had a had invented a genre of animes that deal with being stuck in a different world <laughs> which is so funny it's like you think that you invented something when you're young but actually nope other people has have thought of it before it's the same with art there's not much you can invent nowadays with art everything that was to be invented in art has been invented already and you can't say that you've invented something super original or even ideas like I have these ideas in my head and these poses with these girls and you know they're holding something in their hand or things like that and then I realize I go on Pinterest and I see a hundred of those kind of poses pictures the exact same idea I had in my mind but initially when you're thinking about it you're thinking well my idea is so unique because I thought it I dreamt it and it's mine and then you realize that in art especially nowadays nothing is there that hasn't been discovered it hasn't been an idea that hasn't been brought to life yet I haven't encountered any like you dream of oh I'll make a nice well and I it's gonna have stuff on top or I make, I'm gonna make a nice row of houses it's all been done before nothing much you can do about it I think the only way is maybe change colors, change a little bit the composition and tell a different story tell a different story of what happens uh, and there's nothing to be sad about right? there's really nothing to be sad about or upset about I'm gonna try to do this one here it's just the way it is and there's really nothing we can do about it, to be honest. So that's why I'm always wary when somebody says, um, Oh, you've copied this from me, or I got the idea first. Trust me, there is not one original idea in the last hundreds of years that hasn't been done before in anything so I am very wary of that one especially if you wanna if you wanna make it in the art like how many how many different ways can you do flowers how many different ways can you do uh, girls and poses and stuff I think you can you can develop of course your own style but the idea behind it how do you depict grief and how do you depict different emotions those have already been done before so okay I'm I'm starting a bit to ramble a bit but you get my meaning Okay, so this nice pink, this is nice pink. Of course, I'm going to deepen the colors and also on this one. I'm just letting them dry right now. So I made two pink, two purple, two of these ones. And now I'm going to go and I have three more, right? So I need at least two colors, two different colors. Um, and I don't want to do anything that might distract from the blonde hair that I'm planning to do so I am going to try a more purpley color here let me see I'm gonna try some schminke violet it's more cooler color I don't know if it's gonna work I'm just gonna assume it's gonna work oh this one is cool as well so I'm gonna do this one here and this one here and this one 
Oh, that's going to be interesting. What color should I do that one? Uh, I'll try something with Potter's Pink uh, and Yellow Naples Red. Okay, let me just make this one a little bit more darker. I heard in the comments that uh, a lot of people that are watching my videos, they watch the videos for the stories and they also are doing art in the same time while I'm, I'm doing, so they do their own art. So this is really nice what I'm hearing because I'm glad that I can entice other people to do art because this is what is nice to do this is what art is sometimes just a form of relaxation it's not like we're going to or you watching at home are going to make art your let's say your living or like i believe once it becomes a job then it no longer is so restful no matter how much time you think like oh i'm i'm thinking i'm going to be um i'm going to be doing doing what i love uh even doing what you love can be pretty heavy on you if you do it as a job because then there's deadlines and there's things but people like us, like you and me, not doing this for a job, just doing it for having fun. <laughs> I believe that we can actually be much more relaxed about it and have much more fun. So at least I'm having fun here. And that's why I wanted to do on the live streaming. I wanted to do, okay, maybe I'll, I'll redo the live streamings for Inktober next year, when Inktober is gonna be. I'm not sure if I'm going to choose Inktober or I'm going to choose a different prompt list from October or other other days, but I want to do on the live stream my bigger projects, even though I might not finish one during a live stream and I might need a second live stream, but it's time I'm putting away for my bigger projects. Okay. I'm trying to get a really nice smooth gradient for these flowers. So I'm going back with the, uh, the damp brush and I'm adding more water to smooth out the edges. Maybe... Okay, look how pretty this one looks. <laughs> this color. And it's really in a nice arrangement with all the other ones. I'm going to do the upper one like uh, the same and then this one we're gonna try a different shade of red um, so we're gonna see how we do that one okay I'm loading up my brush and I'm gonna do the upper one I was actually remembering a lot of the stories that I had and that I was doing and it always ends up with me trying to uh, this is something <laughs> okay that was something that I always get asked and I always ask my friends what do they think so assuming that you get posted uh, you get into a different world right and you have memories from this world but you're in a different world a different position like a princess or something uh, and let's assume that you go there and you have the opportunity to change that world that world might not be the same as our world right it might be a different they might have um you know different level of um technology right with the with the knowledge that you have right now would you ever consider 
changing that world to be in the image of this world? Would you pursue that? Um, and the previous discussions I had centered around, first of all, would that even be possible? For example, if I were to be in a, a new world, am I actually, do I even know to create anything that we use right now? Like, um, we use computers and we use medicine or we use a lot of things. So, for example, I might go to world, they don't have the medicine. They don't even have, let's say, paracetamol. Will I know how to make that even? Like, even assuming that I would have the power to change that world to what I wanted to, as in I can make people do what I want, right? But would I even know to tell them what to do? Like how now I take for granted everything that I have, even watercolors um, and paper and everything. Like assuming that you go to a world that doesn't even have paper yet or, you know, lesser advanced and you're thinking yeah but paper is quite important right and writing and everything like would you even know how to make paper <laughs> i wouldn't but i don't know you guys tell me i uh... i think i will have a hard time i i would like to modify the world but then i i'm realizing that I don't know what to do. I mean, I have a job. I know how to work with computers, but would I know how to create a computer from scratch? No. Do we actually need to know now? No. So... It seems pretty impro improbable, but assuming that you do remember some things and you you can make some changes would you actually do it would you actually meddle in their world and change the course of history in that world if you had the power it's an interesting I, on the other hand, maybe I would embrace the world. Like, if this is, would be a world like this one. It would be a world with magic and flowers and things and me having to take care of that. I think I would just try to embrace it and learn the magic and learn everything. Maybe what I will take with me is the learning methods that I have here and the... Uh, you know, the love for learning. Like, if I were to think what I regret most from my school days is not studying enough and not learning enough. I was doing a lot, uh, and I guess a lot of kids realize that later on. <laughs> I was doing a lot of playing and, and not really paying attention. And now I'm actually needing, sometimes I need to go back and and learn what I should have learned back then, like in mathematics or physics, because I need it in my in my job. And when we are young, we are thinking, why am I learning this now? It makes no sense because we're always gonna use this and this um, technology, so you don't need to learning. But no, that is something that I kind of think hmm, I should have done it better. So, 30 minutes in. As you can see, making a piece like this is not something that um, goes really fast. That's why I said today that I want you to do the flowers, make them nice, make them with a nice white bag and all the leaves and so on. And then I'm going to do the, this part with the leaves and add, add some more shadows and deep, deepness. I'm really scared of this one because this is a color that I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Um, okay, let's do Potter's Pink. Potter's Pink is one of my favorite pinks. It's 
so I'm just going to try to do that one. You can see that it's my favorite thing, pink because on the palette I only have a little bit left and I need to fill in the the pan again. So I've been using it for quite a while. <laughs> I'm going to add way more texture in all of this and this is what takes time on this type of paintings. Adding the texture and everything. So oh, this one dried out so I'm going to just do this. This petal is curled uh, into a different things. I know I, I went a bit philosophical on you guys right now, but it's something that always I need to ponder whether or not. Maybe it's the same question that all these people that are interacting with the aboriginals uh, Aboriginal groups, because yeah, we have groups that haven't been touched by civilization. The question is, should we contact them? Should we try to bring them along? Or are we doing more harm than good? Because those people, they will have a lot of catching up to do. The question is, what level of life will they have? They will never reach maybe in a few generations they would reach our level but it makes no sense to maybe ruin what they have they want to live like that and that's how they grew who are we to say that our way is better I don't know Yeah, this this is really pretty. Uh, the middle of the anemone is always very dark, so <laughs> I'm going to have to do it very dark. But it doesn't need to be all the same. We can do that at the end when everything dries a bit. A little bit about the piece and how did I do it. The hair I I did pretty rough and then I was just trying to follow a certain flow and to put the strands of hair in front and behind. I never studied hair. I never studied properly how hair goes like even if I look at my hair. Uh, it's very difficult to translate that for me into actual like drawing. So I a little bit took a, more of a doodling approach where I would just make the hair go in different directions. And it turned out okay, I think. Not what I would have imagined in the beginning, but probably that's why I made this mistake that I, I kept going that way because I, I started very tiny and then I realized that her head is here so her hair needs to be way bigger otherwise the proportions wouldn't have worked. So, yeah, the hair is nice. I did make a mistake and I'm going to show you what mistake I did. And I recognize that, but I didn't want to redraw this because for me, it doesn't matter that I make mistakes. It's always a learning process. So I'm not going to just waste a good opportunity to actually color in something just because I made a mistake. And... I'm going to share with you what mistake did I do. It's only one that I can think of for now. And 
some people might go well there are maybe 10 million mistakes and by mistake i mean if i would have tried to do it more realistic and more proportionally correct what mistake did i do because it's not completely realistic let's be clear i don't do realism paintings or anything it's pretty stylized but the mistake i did is here with the eyebrow here the eyebrow here i made it and it looks like a straight line and actually this part of the eyebrow should have been much more in the upper direction and that would have given a little bit of a different um, style to the girl um, my belief is always after you draw something have a hard look at it and actually try to come up with things that you would do differently next time and if I were to do it differently next time this is one of the things that I will do it looks a bit like she looks a bit now like a geisha I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly yeah she looks like a geisha because of this she looks like she has painted eyebrows and it was not my intent definitely but yeah. Okay. Those are nice. Okay, okay, okay. This ones. What color should this ones be? Yeah, maybe I I have also bud here. Maybe I should do it like this. Not sure what I was planning with this one. But maybe this one needs to be some nice buds. Mm -hmm. And I'll take some deeper red. This looks like a commissioned portrait of a princess by the royal household. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's funny. Okay. Claudia, stop laughing. Royal household. I've never been in a royal household. I don't know how they do commission stuff. I'm just assuming. And by the way, I do not see necessarily if there's any uh, comments right now. So I'm just going to assume that there are no comments. <sighs> if there are, I'm pretty happy to uh, go on. Um, I'm deepening the color here. And then I'm going to lift it up with clean brush and drag it around. This is how we deepen the colors. So goals next year and goals. I uh, want to be able to draw many flowers and to make many bouquets. And I also want to improve on my human drawing skills. Um, so I'm going to do a lot of that next year and a lot of nice drawings. And this is just for me. I want to improve and I want to do that. And I want to share my ideas and my love with everybody else. So hopefully I can inspire more people to pick up art as a way of meditating and as a way of getting through in this world I mean we don't need to be afraid of art and I think it can really bring us forward I 
I always find funny that uh, people are at work think of me as very technical and then sometimes I'm just coming up with these ideas and I'm starting drawing on the board or doing things and people are like wait what you can draw and I'm like yeah sure I can draw <laughs> some people are pretty much surprised because you know they're thinking only designers can draw and only people that finished art school can draw it is my firm belief that anybody can draw I don't think that and not only draw but do watercolor and so on I don't think there is anything that you might think it needs to be an a talent or anything I think the only talent you need to have is patient and I'm not sure if that's a talent or if it's a learned thing and look good look good at the world around you and everything else around I think that that will be just perfectly fine I'm now deepening the colors. I'm not afraid. I will add white where it needs to be white. So, do not worry about that part. Art and creating and being creative, it's something that should be for everybody. And of course, there are going to be always people that are better at it. But who cares? You can create whatever your imagination allows you to. And you can have fun doing it. And, you know, get something out of it. That's always a good part. Tonight my cats are sleeping, so <laughs> Happy is sleeping on the chair next to me, he's so sweet, but he was up the entire day messing with my stuff on my desk and only an hour or so ago he fell asleep on the chair and I had to change my chair so that I accommodate him because he likes to sleep on the chair I was sitting, right? Not any other chair. It doesn't matter that there's five chairs around. It matters that it's my chair that he will take over, right? So I let him fall asleep. And then I just moved him with the chair. He didn't even budge. And then I took another chair. What do we do as parents, huh? Why, why don't we... Uh, uh, I still haven't decided what I'll do with these ones. Um, this looks like very pale flowers. Let me try to do a very... I'm gonna use Naples Yellow with some of this pink and see if I can have something. Okay, this looks very weird. No. I'm not going to use that one. Okay, let's just try to use Naples yellow as it is. And it's actually, this is not Naples yellow yellow, this is Naples yellow red. Which is weird, because it has some red tint, so this is what I'm going to use. Or are these ones actually red? Hmm. Oh yes, indeed is uplift in a tower <laughs> yeah I am not sure I'm thinking should I should I not if I do Naples yellow and then I'm going to do the skin on the face that's going to not stand out anymore because the skin is pretty orangey right so this is not good okay I'm going to do a more deeper color uh, let me think let me think 
Kunakadrum Rose. Kunakadrum Rose. Let's try this. Kunakadrum Rose. Wow, that is one bright pink that I. <laughs> yeah, no. You see what happens when you don't test your colors in advance? <laughs> don't do like me. Do what I say. Make a color palette in advance. That might actually work. Mm. I'm hoping this is not too bright, but let's get with it. Let's do it. I'm just going to add in to the middle and then I'm going to... But for me, if I do a color palette in advance, I don't like it because... Not because it's too hard or anything, but it kind of takes away from the joy of drawing. If everything is planned out. And I know that's a bad idea. And I know that. A lot of people will say. You have to make your color palette in advance. And you have to choose your colors. And all that stuff. And I always say. Nope. Where's the joy in that? Like we have to figure it out. While we're going here. I don't know. Just me and my opinion. <laughs> I'm gonna deepen it with some red actually. This is gonna be a special color. This looks like her crown, right? And her crown should be deeper yellow. I'm trying to get some Indian yellow here. That's nice. And so she has a gold circlet with some nice flowers in there. Uh, now I still have to do the leaves and the leaves. Let me think what would work nicely. I think May green. Mix with some permanent green or yeah, let's see, may green and then a puddle of may green, may green with some permanent green that should make it more darker. gonna try to do some gradients and I'm assuming a lot of you are affected by the recent numbers that we see and that can't go either home or to have fun. I'm almost thinking maybe I should just do live streaming of the day. <laughs> mm. But we are in much better position. When I was young, there was this um, show called Surprises, Surprises. And people of the audience sometimes were selected to get a surprise. So they would say in advance what would mean most to them and so on. 
majority of the people, like especially the old ones and so on, and that was in the 1990s. I was quite young back then, in the 1990s. Uh, what struck me the most is the more successful surprises. So, okay, some people wanted maybe a new washing machine or, you know, um, a house because they were living with uh, five kids in one room or something, right? So, were more practical things. But the old people, what they wanted was to see their loved ones again. What happened is it was immediately after the revolution and um, before the revolution people that were leaving the country they could never keep contact with the people in the country because it wasn't allowed, right? You're considered a traitor and so on. And there were some some people that for example didn't see their sister or didn't see their parents for like 30 years, 40 years, didn't didn't see their family for that long, didn't even talk with them, didn't even correspond via letters with them. And I was thinking about that and I was realizing that we are in such a much better position right now with all the technologies that we have to keep in contact with everybody that it is in a way amazing. Those people in those times, like before the 1990s, they had nothing. They had no means of communication. But now, even if we are in this situation and we can't go out and we can't physically visit anybody, I think we are still so much more fortunate. And I'm still so much grateful to this situation right now that I can talk with my parents every day, right, via WhatsApp, that I can see them, WhatsApp, Skype, um, that I can, you know, text a little or anything that I want. I can order my mom stuff that will be delivered to her if I want a present. But those people didn't have that. And yeah, it gives me a bit of perspective whenever I think of that. The fact that I can do this live stream now and then my family will watch it and then they will feel like they were closer to me even though we're not physically close. It really, for me, it brings me joy. I don't know, for others or for you. But this is why I do this. First of all, because I want to improve and I, I am getting something out of it. I'm getting to do really nice art as I want it on my terms and uh, you know other people can see it and my family the most important thing is my family can see it which is nice so surprises surprises called surprises surprises made some people quite famous <laughs> was quite fun to watch I don't know if they have this type of shows here in the West I don't know I'll have to think about it if I ever saw okay um, I'm going to deepen some colors I'm gonna use some jadeite especially on the leaves Oh yeah, and the lady that was hosting the show, she was always dressed so nice. Like, really fancy, fancy dress and fancy outfits. And then comes this old lady, uh, like eight years old, didn't see her family for so long. And then it was such a big contrast, such a big contrast between this lady dressed so nicely. And then this old lady is eight years old with just like handkerchief. 
<laughs> Florin says, I talk so much with my mom via the internet that when we meet, we don't have that many things to discuss. That's true. That's true. Sometimes, because I talk with my mom every day, sometimes I say, okay, tell me more, you know, like half an hour later, tell me more, what, what's more? And then my mom is like, what do I tell you? Because I told you yesterday, there's nothing new, nothing happened in one day <laughs> that I can tell you about. It's so funny. <laughs> And then when we are back, yeah, like sometimes there's just nothing left to discuss because we discuss too much, I guess. We'll be like living in the same house. So we end up discussing like movies and stuff because she likes the same movies, like she watches Discovery and uh, the same kind of uh, series on Netflix as I do. So we end up just discovering and uh, talking about movies and she sometimes gives me good movie tips. So. At least that's the thing. But indeed, <laughs> we talk so much nowadays. So, I don't know how those people in the old did it, but I would say my kudos to them because they managed to live through that and to live 40 years, 40 years without knowing anything about your loved one without knowing whether they live or not it was a totally different day okay so what did i want to do more i wanted to do this part with some nice brown and maybe add something something extra and we need to do the middle maybe i should do the middle now okay what colors do i I wanted to do indigo with neutral tint. So I'm gonna use this one. Oh, you don't see. I'm gonna use the last part, this one. Neutral tint. No, this is neutral tint. And this is indigo. I'm doing a stippling motion and I'm trying to leave some white areas but definitely the middle of anemones it's really I would say dark there's no other way to put it other than dark And sometimes my mom, when she talks me, talks with me, she sometimes tells me what I could do better in my videos because she watches all my videos. Actually, surprise, surprise! TV show is a British and international versions in Italy, Netherlands, Poland, Romania, Spain, and the US. In Romania, it was running between 1999 and 2008. Yeah, I was surprised that I would have assumed that. The revolution happened in 1989, 1990. I would assume that immediately after, all these people would have gone, right, now it's free to meet, so let's go, <laughs> right? <laughs> the fact that you could run a show like that between 1999 and 2008 and have so much appeal with people meeting after 40 years, it's a bit strange, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit like, what? Why? What were those people doing? Why didn't they meet in advance? So it was also a British show. I didn't know that. 
I wonder what the British wish for. <laughs> I'm afraid to put my hand down because then I will touch this one is really <sighs> wet. Earring. I wonder what her earring should be like. I haven't thought about that, but maybe we need to bring in her earring the nice green of the leaves. And that will tie the leaves and the flowers together. Right? Yeah, that will be nice. Because her hair is going to be blonde with brown. And then blonde and brown works well with green. So that will be nice. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And it looks like it's the forest, right? It's the forest. So, I remember the story about the forest. It was so fun. Um... I was just uh, finishing, so when I finished 8th grade, I took the exam, I went to high school, but it was the vacation before, before the last grade of primary school and the first year of high school. And I went to a friend of mine, her um, grandma was in a different city than us, the city was called Tekuch. And I was living in Galat, and we went there, and um, the father of the girl was an architect, and he had business with some of the monastery there. So they he took us with us, and it was me, my friend, and her cousin, which was younger, like two years younger. And we were alone, uh, left alone there by the monastery for a day because he had to go and inspect uh, the new thing that he had to build. And it was in the middle of a forest, so we went into the forest. And I remember what we were playing in the forest. It was such such a nice light and such a nice scenery. And we are playing uh, Prince Charming and the uh, evil guys, basically. Um, the Smey, the always the enemies of Prince Charming, right? The enemy number one. So we would, you know, gather twigs around and then we would go and uh, run around the forest and have a fight with play pretend. And we were two girls. And I was always Prince Charming for some reason. Don't know why, don't ask me. But apparently, I was a very good Prince Charming. And, uh, yeah, we were just having so much fun. And I remember from then the forest and the light and the beautiful greens of the forest and how light would peer down through the trees. And it was such a bright green and beautiful. Like, sometimes you... I think forests are scary, but I believe they are so beautiful, especially in remote areas like that. Okay. Now I will have to add white gel pen to make the whites of the stems again visible. And I'm going to do this one. Okay, I need some brown. Let me see. First I'll start with some burnt sienna and then I'll add some darker brown. Wow, 
this is like precision 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 this is with the number four okay okay look how i do it i keep the i keep the hand on the paper and then i'm just pulling the whole hand a bit so that the just the tip touches this is what's going to be nice i think the painting will be much more crowded if i would have extra tiny leaves on the on this wreath and i think i'm just gonna leave it like that gonna leave it alone one thing i would draw differently on the wreath is i would make some small indentations to to really show that it's um wooden reef but yeah I miss the carefree things when I was young going into the forest and having fun we did encounter the forest guy or how do you call the forest guy the guy that takes care of the forest or that is making sure that you know people don't come and kill animals um, we did meet with him while we were running around like wildlings in the forest shouting all sorts of things and uh, playing Prince Charming and the bad guys and uh, he was a nice guy he did tell us that not to worry that in the forest there were no bears or anything so that was okay I sometimes I was worried that maybe we're gonna go and uh, encounter like uh, bears or anything but no that's usually not not how things work much deeper in the forest I think are bears not necessarily they don't live necessarily where all the humans also live at least in that area I'm pretty sure that in another area mountain area uh, I did see the bears come. Uh oh, I put my finger right <laughs> into the watercolor. <laughs> and trying to do some acrobatic scare. They do live next to humans, but I think this is more rare. Only when they probably don't have enough habitat to go, they probably come. Now I'm going with a deeper shade of brown and I know maybe on camera you don't really see it but I'm just dabbing it in certain portions to make this wreath look like it's coming alive. In here in the Netherlands, I mean, I've been to a forest or so-called forest, but they're not really that deep. And usually what they call forest here is just a, a bunch of trees together. <laughs> so like the real big forests, they're not yet there. <laughs> Let me see if I can do some different things. I'm adding some dots of color more concentrated they're like blemishes on the flower right which is always fun to add mm -hmm. structure as we call it we're adding structure
I like flowers with character and with structure. They don't need to be pretty or like super everything blended together. It needs to be how they will look like in reality. They will look like they they have blemishes and stuff and sunspots and that's what's going to be nice. Imperfect flowers, this is how I call them. This is an imperfect gem. It's been raining the entire day today. So weird. Well, yesterday as well. I'm not sure when it's going to end. You would assume that the Netherlands already by now would have had snow, but no. In the Netherlands, when it's winter, it's more like how much rain can you have? <laughs> I don't know. So much rain, so much rain. And of course it's cold outside, but it's also rain. <laughs> and all of you living here know this, because you're probably living here and probably thinking, where did I go wrong with my life? <laughs> We're sitting here in the place where it rains like crazy. Put some permanent magenta. Let's do it. And this one. I you see that I didn't even check my clock. How much time? Oh wow. Almost one hour and twenty minutes. I didn't even know, but I kind of knew I wasn't able to finish all because, you know, the flowers and the leaves and everything takes quite some time and then the face and the hair is going to take equally amount of time. So that's why I'm going to do that on uh, Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday we're going to do the hair, nice hair and a nice face with an egg. Uh, um, hmm. She has a pendant. So maybe we should do the pendant also green. Why not? She has the green, the jade of the forest, she's called. So let's do that. This one ties nicely with the flowers and then yeah, it's going to look nice. Now let's add the white. 
that will be the last things we do in this stream. <laughs> So I'm going with the white gel pen and added some dots because I lost the white of the paper when I was doing it. I mean, the brush is nowhere near as precise and not even with the number one you would have been able to. go around it yeah you need to really master brushwork here I'm just wondering in a print how oh I need to do a test with this one as a print that would be so funny just I want to see how that will look like in a print with the white dots and everything I wouldn't I wouldn't know if that will work or not that's going to be a question for later on Okay. This really looks nice so far. I'm really pleased with it. And uh, you can see that I've I managed to kill, <laughs> to put my jacket into watercolor. Luckily this part it will be cut off because it will be like this and this will be cut off like this so it's fine for now but oh no my jacket anyway never mind uh that was it for the stream today I will finish this painting on the Sunday stream and I'm going to do the nice hair and I'm going to try to do some really nice gradient and I still have to think where the light is coming from probably from here uh, what might happen is um, after I do the hair and the face these flowers might need a little bit of more deepening but that's okay this is kind of the process that I go through uh, oh thank you Marlena <laughs> thank you I don't want to hold you guys uh, more and I try to stick to one hour one and a half hour um, of just doing this and doing art because for me this is progress and it's something that is doable and I hope that is something that is doable for you also to do once in a few days just a few hours of art because this is like uh, something that is always nice and always uh, helps you helps you disconnect and helps you uh, do wonderful things okay um, that was kind of it for now but I'll see you next time and then maybe I'll add even more details and so on so we're going to work on the face and the lips and the nose and the beautiful hair. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Thank you. Do it. <laughs> mm -hmm.